guys, we are back with another song by Eminem. And which one are we doing today? Today we are doing a hidden track off of Recovery. Hidden? Hidden. How is it hidden? So if you bought the CD, okay. it showed 16 tracks. Track 16 was You're Never Over, right? And then this song came on after that. Uh, it wasn't listed. Right. Interesting. So and, it's the 17th song. And it's called Untitled. Okay. Yes. Oh, so that's why it just wasn't even put on there. Yeah. It, streaming kind of ruined it. If you want Spotify, it shows Untitled uh, as a track. You know okay. what I mean? So, yeah. This is a relatively short song. It's three minutes, just a little over three minutes. But it's very complex. So this may end up being a long video. <laughs> If you guys aren't into the breaking down and dissecting of lyrics, I'm warning you now. So don't watch this video. We're probably not the channel for you anyway, but yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. So don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Do you, you don't recognize it by title though? No. By untitled? <laughs> no. Okay. Interesting. I might know it though. I don't know. It's a weird song. There's not really, I guess there's technically a chorus, but it's one line or well, two lines. It's a sample and Eminem says one line and then it's right into the next uh, verse. So. All right. Some would argue it's the best song on recovery. So. Oh, really? Some. I also think it's very underrated. Underrated? Yes. Okay. It's a hidden track. People don't know about it. It's called Untitled. To people well, I like, mean, if you just listen to the CD without looking at the track list, eventually you would stumble onto <laughs> it. Yeah, that's true. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us on all social media channels. Links in the description below. And our username's right there. Yes. Okay, here we go. Untitled. Nah, man. Nah, man. Not quite finished yet. <laughs> You just might have tried to pull a motherfucking fast when I'm mad You just hurt my goddamn feeling and that was the last one I had Cause this look like an arcade trying to play games See this sword blade, see this silhouette of a stalker In your walkway, better cooperate or get sword tape And we'll just read while your heart tied MCs get so quiet you can hear a motherfucking dog whistle when I walk by Cold Seavers on a mule stunting on an ass like the fucking fall guy I don't gas my Mercedes at the midnight I treat it like a mob why Cause it will turn into a gremlin and run over kids, women, and men Ring, ring, motor so big you can fit a midget in his engine Bitch, give me them digits while you're cringing Not by the hair on my tinny chin chin While I spin, spin, even ten cents on you since when Do you think it's gonna cost me a pretty penny shit if I think a penny's pretty? Just imagine how beautiful a quarter is to me Any, many, many more Catch an Eskimo by his toe while he's trying to roll a snowball But don't make him lose his cool If he hollers, better let him go, yo Cause Now there we go, go, go Okay So I know the song that he's sampling mm. Yes, so it's but called What is the song that he's sampling? So I do have the lyrics pulled up on my phone Which interestingly enough, we always say this That lyric genius tends to be better than most websites yeah. but the lyrics are still wrong on there this is an example literally the first line they got the lyrics wrong really so, yes okay so this is leslie gore i believe the song is called you don't own me let's see yeah uh 1963 single named you don't own me performed by leslie gore so that so I know that song. Yeah, me too. That's why I was kind of recognizing it, but I've never heard this song. Yes. Mm. Okay. So it comes in literally with her saying, you don't own me. And then Eminem says, nah, man, not quite finished yet. So again, you're listening to this album. You put on the last song, it ends, and then this comes on. And then you hear this and he's like, not finished yet. You know what okay. I mean? So it's like, you know, a head nod to the fact that this is a hidden track. And then, yeah, it says, ha ha. Okay, so he starts off, he says, girl, I think you just, I, I believe he says, went and tried to pull a motherfucking fast one. Not might have tried to pull a motherfucking fast one. Do you want to hear it? Sure. Tell me what you, tell me what you hear. Girl, I think you just might have tried to pull a motherfucking fast one. I'm might have tried to pull. See, I think went and. Play it again. Motherfucking fast one. I might have tried to pull a motherfucking I think you just went and tried to pull a motherfucking... I think you just went and tried to pull. Yeah, That's what I'm right. saying. It's different. Jeez. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's went and tried to pull. Yeah, Lyric Genius has might have, but again, I'm hearing went and tried to pull. So whatever. It's kind of 
irrelevant, but that's what I think he's... Either way, I mean, it means the same thing. Yeah. Well, no. Girl, you just went and tried to pull a fast one, so he's aware that you did this. You might have means that he's like, maybe she tried to, maybe she didn't. Yeah, that's a good point. So I think it's went. Yeah. Okay, so he says, girl, I think you just went and tried to pull a motherfucking fast one. I'm mad. You just hurt my goddamn feeling. And that was the last one I had. Oh, uh, that's funny. So, yes. <laughs> it's the last feeling he had to give. Yeah, he only had one feeling, and it was the last one. And now it's hurt. Yes. And he says, does this look like an arcade? Trying to play games? See the saw blade? See the silhouette of a stalker in your walkway? Better cooperate or get sautéed and rotisseried while you're hogtied. Which is like a cooking scheme there. Yeah. So he says, does this look like an arcade trying to play games? So he's saying, don't play games with me. And obviously games at an arcade. And then he's saying, okay, so you're playing games with me. He says, do you see the saw blade? Do you see the silhouette of a stalker in your walkway? So he's saying he's going to kill you. And then he says, better cooperate or get sautéed. So literally cooking, like you just said, the yeah. cooking scheme. Sautéed and rotisseried while you're hogtied. When he says better, does he say it like butter or like just better? No, I think it just says better. Better cooperate. Get so tight on this room. Yeah. It'd be cool. Should have said butter. And then, yeah, hog tied. So, you know, tied up like a hog. And then that kind of goes with the. Yeah, you got your arms tied together, your legs tied together. So, yeah, that goes with the rotisserie and then sauteed because you could eat a hog. Okay. And then he says, MCs get so quiet, you can hear a motherfucking dog whistle when I walk by. So. That's cool. Yeah, because you can't, like, we technically can't hear a dog whistle. Yes, but he's saying it's so quiet when he's around. <laughs> you can hear a dog whistle. Yes, yes. Okay. Then he says, Colt Seavers on a mule, stunting on that ass like the fucking fall guy. No idea. Okay, yeah. So this is before our time. I think I only learned about this through the song, I believe. Maybe I heard of it before. I don't really know. Is it a know. sports thing? So, no. So, there was a TV show back in, I don't know, 70s, 80s, something like that, called The Fall Guy, right? And it was about a stuntman, right? And his name was Colt Seavers. So, he was oh. a stuntman in the movie. So, he says, Colt Seavers on a mule. So, Colt Seavers was a stuntman so on a mule. Stunting on that ass. Okay. Yeah, so stunting on that ass like the fucking Fall Guy, which is the name of the show. I mean, that's a very cool fucking thing he did there mm -hmm. and then this game is fucking crazy so he goes i don't gas my mercedes after midnight i treat it like a mogwai right and then he says because it will turn into a gremlin and run over kids women and men ren ren i never saw gremlins so i don't know like i know that you can't get them wet yes right? so there was like three rules it was like you can't get it wet you can't feed it after midnight and then I don't remember what the third one was. It's so funny. I was just looking up the three rules like within the last month for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. So, okay. I don't gas my Mercedes after midnight. So, you know, self-explanatory. Like, yeah, I don't put gas in the car. But so by saying after midnight, he's invoking the rule from Gremlins, right? Yeah. And then he says, I treat it like a mogwai. So that was the thing. You can't feed the mogwai. You know what I mean? They'll they'll turn into a gremlin if you get them wet or feed them after like midnight. A gremlin? They're like cute and cuddly, yeah. So then, okay, so he treats it like a mogwai, you know, don't get it wet, don't, after midnight, right? And then he says, because it will turn into a gremlin, run over kids, women, and men. Okay, so now, I don't know if you remember, he did a car scheme a while, and a, a song, was it on this album? Where he mentions the gremlin, which is also a car. Do you remember that? The AMC gremlin? Yeah, I think so. So it's an old car from like the, again, 70s, 80s, I forget. So this is insane. This I'm like so excited right now. It's wild. <laughs> so he says, it will turn into a gremlin, run over kids, women, and men. Okay. So if he gasses the Mercedes after midnight, he'd be getting it wet after midnight. And then yeah. the Mogwai would turn into a gremlin, right? And that's like saying the Mercedes will turn into a... Yes, the, the gremlin, the car. Yeah. Yes. People over. Yes, which is a fucking bizarre scheme. It, like, yeah, I would have never been able to see that if I didn't find out that a gremlin was a car at a point. Yeah. I never heard of a gremlin car. It's like almost every line in the song is a crazy punchline. And like, the, I know that. And I still won't be surprised if I miss some. Like, that's how... like condensed this fucking song is 
So yes, uh, run over kids, women and men, Vren Vren, motor so big, you can fit a midget in his engine. Bitch, give me them digits. Why you cringing? So this one's straightforward. The motor so big, you could fit a midget in his engine. So, you know, it's pretty big. You know, midgets are known to be small, but if you yeah, were putting them in an engine, engine. So it's huge. Yes. And then he says, ask the girl for her number. And then he's like, why are you cringing? Like, so mm -hmm. implying that he's like being aggressive. Right. Yeah. He's saying, give them to me. That's a, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. And then he says, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Piggy. Will I spend, spend even 10 cents on you? Since when do you think it's going to cost me a pretty penny? Shit, if I think a penny's pretty, just imagine how beautiful a quarter is to me. So, yeah, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin is that, what is it? The nurse, three little pigs. Yeah, three little pigs nursery rhyme. The With the wolf. He's like, the big bad wolf. Him. Not by the hair on my chinny chin yeah. chin. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what he's referring to. And then he says, will I spend, spend even 10 cents on you? So he's saying, I'm not going to spend any money on you. That's like so a that, recurring thing. Too. Yeah, exactly. That he's stingy. So he won't even spend 10 cents, which is a dime. I don't even know what you can buy for 10 cents anyway. Yeah. A grape? Maybe. So yeah, he's not even going to spend a dime. And then he says, when do you think it's going to cost me a pretty penny? Shit. So that's, a, that's an expression. It'll cost you a pretty penny. A lot of money. Yes, which doesn't refer to a penny. It's, you know, just means it costs a lot of money. So listen to when you think it's going to cost me a pretty penny. Shit, if I think a penny's pretty, just imagine how beautiful a quarter is to me. So he's just doing a play on the change. Yeah. He did the 10 cents, which is like the dime, and then a penny, and then a quarter. He's like, shit, if I thought a penny was pretty, a quarter is even more beautiful, you know? Gorgeous. Which is funny. All right. And then he says, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch an Eskimo by his toe while he's trying to roll a snowball, but don't make him lose his cool. If he hollers, better let him go, y'all. So this That's is like interesting. The Eskimo mm -hmm. loses cool. It's there in the cold. Yes. Yeah, so the eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe is that childhood Yeah, like game. how you pick. Yeah. Well, no, you would do it if you were trying to pick who would get what. Yes. So instead of the catch a tiger by his toe, he says catch an Eskimo by his toe while he's trying to roll a snowball, but don't make him lose his cool. If he hollers, better let him go, y'all. So there's a, there's like a, there's a little more to this than at first glance, I think. So obviously the don't make him lose his cool is that's an expression like don't make him get, get mad angry. don't anger him right and he says or, if he, yeah if he hollers better let him go but he's saying you know he's an eskimo so he's living in the cold and then yeah. on top of that he's trying to roll a snowball you know what i mean so it's like don't make him lose his cool so it's like he's gonna get angry but is he also gonna lose i don't know the snowball <laughs> do you know what i mean like <laughs> yeah he might melt it yeah then he's if he hollers better let him go y'all which is funny and then cause you don't own me. And then Eminem says, now here we go, go, go. All right. And that that's what I was referring to. The chorus is literally yeah, just one, one line from the sample. Sample, yeah. Here we go. Baby, get a move on like a U-Haul. You can rack your brain like pool balls. You won't ever think of this shit. Yeah, honey, you call. Well, here I come, have it on the beat, I wreak it Evil I see, hear and speak it Lady, put your money on shady, fuck it up the weak shit Put your eggs in the same basket You can count every motherfucking chicken for it hatches Cause you can bet your ass that we gon' get it cracking Like the cracking of titans when they're clashing Get your brains bashing so bad You gon' have Kirk Cobain asking to autograph a bloodstained napkin Unfastenable and about as rational as a rational fags asshole Now let's take that line, running up the flag, pull it out and See if he's cool with it, don't stand there and look stupid at me, bitch Shit, get my dick, Google it till it pops up Y'all are some motherfucking full of shit that you stopped up Me, I'm always shitting diarrhea out of mouth Till your speakers crap out uh, What? Girl, you got a hot butt like a lit cigarette Cigarette. But you won't get a hot butt Sunday from me So do not strut my waist like because yeah, Here we go, go, go. <laughs> People are gonna be so annoyed. Oh, I took out. I always do this. What? I look in the thing, and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna take out this here. <laughs> it's like, nope, it's backwards. Yeah. This fine. one. 
Yeah, I mean, I warned people at the beginning of the video. So if you're still here and you're angry that we paused after a minute, this is your own fault, not ours. All right. So verse two, he comes in. He says, get up, baby. Get a move on like a U-Haul. You can rack your brain like pool balls. You won't ever think of this shit. Yeah, honey, you called? So the pool ball line is cool. It's like when you rack the balls before you break them. Yes. So the first line, get a move on like U-Haul. U-Hauls are moving trucks. Yeah. And then get a move on is like, all right, get like moving. Get moving or like could be dancing. move out of your house. Could, yeah, it could be <laughs> dancing. And then he says, you can rack your brain like pool balls, but you won't ever think of this shit. So the expression of racking your brain, obviously, is you're thinking you're really trying, hard, yeah, trying you, to figure something out. Yes. And then like you already explained, you rack pool balls, so you can rack your brain like pool balls. But you won't ever think of this shit. So he's saying you're never going to be able to come up with the shit that he does because yeah. he's just that great. And then he says, yeah, honey, you called. So he's like, oh, you called, which is interesting. <laughs> and then he says, well, here I come. Havoc on the beat. I wreak it. Evil, I see, hear, and speak it. Lady, put your money on shady. Fuck that other weak shit. Put your eggs in the same basket. Okay, so we'll just do this part. So Havoc is half of Mob Deep and he produced okay. this track. Okay, I didn't I didn't know that. I did not know Havoc produced beats. This I didn't know. I just thought he was talking <clears throat> about the word Havoc. So he is, but he's doing so it's a double on time. Yeah. So he says, Well, here I come, Havoc on the beat. So he's he, wreaking yeah. havoc on the beat, but literally Havoc on the beat, he's the one that produced the beat for this track, right? That's good. Yeah, so he does Havoc on the beat. I reek it, so he's wreaking Havoc. And then he says, evil I see, hear, and speak it. It's like the opposite of see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Exactly. I said that backwards, but... Yes, same shit. And then he says, lady, put your money on shady. Fuck that other weak shit. Put your eggs in the same basket. So Which he's saying... bad advice. <laughs> yeah, so he's like, you know, bet on me you yeah know. like don't don't like <clears throat> bet on anybody else exactly. don't try to win yeah all it's the others gonna be me. are weak shit and then he says put your eggs in the same basket which is obviously another so this song is littered with these fucking expressions but he's like, saying the opposite of them all so yes like, here he i is. see hear and speak evil it's the opposite of the expression yeah put your eggs in the same basket it's the opposite of the expression yeah which is don't put all your eggs in one basket so he's saying he is such a guaranteed fucking winner that you can do that. And then he says, you can count every motherfucking chicken for it hatches. Which is, again, saying <clears throat> the opposite of the expression. Yes, which goes back to the eggs in the basket. So eggs and then chickens. Mm -hmm. And then he's, So the expression is, you know, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Yeah. But he's saying you can count every motherfucking chicken <laughs> before it hatches because, again, he's that yeah, fucking stable. Yeah, he knows stable. he'll win. Yeah. It's in the bag. And then he says, because you can bet your ass that we're going to get a crack in. Okay. So there's a... this More is, egg so, things. So yes, but this is also part of a much longer scheme that we're about to get into. A but farm scheme? No. So hold on. Just bet your ass we get a crack in. So there's a crack in an ass, right? So that's like... Uh <laughs> yes but also it's yes, another farm eggs. scheme because it's an ass and a donkey which is on mm. farm like chicken and then, like eggs get cracked so yes cracking eggs so he carry he did that whole the eggs and then the chickens and then get a crack in right so all right we covered that scheme now so but he takes this bet your ass that we're going to get a crack in and that line serves as part of that scheme and part of the next scheme which is so fucking crazy that he did that so he goes, bet your ass that we're going to get a Kraken. So it's like ass crack, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. And then the eggs cracking. Then he says, like the Kraken and the Titans when they're clashing, get your brains bashed in so bad that you will have Kurt Cobain asking to autograph a bloodstained napkin. God. So are you familiar with Clash of the Titans? No, but I know what a Kraken is. Yeah. So the story Clash of the Titans, there's a Kraken in it. And... So literally, he goes. Isn't that the sports movie? Mm -hmm. Remember the Titans. Okay, I'm lost. Yeah, remember the Titans is the sports movie. What is movie. the not? What are we talking about? Clash of the Titans. What is that? So is that another sports movie? No. 
it's a story with the kraken in it. You said you know what the kraken is, right? Yeah, it's like the giant octopus guy. Yes. So he says, bet your ass you're going to get a kraken, like the kraken, and the titans when they're clashing. So in Clash of the Titans, the the ship, it goes against the kraken, right? The kraken attacks it like the giant octopus thing. So he says, so the expression of let's get a kraken, which means like let's get it going. You yeah. could use that as let's get it fighting. You know, let's fight. You know what I mean? Okay. So he says, we'll get a kraken, like the krakens and the titans when they're clashing. So Clash of the Titans... They fight with the Kraken. You know what I mean? So, yes, yes. And then he says, get your brains bashed in so bad that you will have Kurt Cobain asking to autograph a bloodstained napkin. God. So mm. what? Like, because Kurt Cobain allegedly shot himself in the head? Mm-hmm. Blew his brains out? Allegedly. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Not trying to go into conspiracies right now. Um... So he's saying that, like, you're going to get your brains bashed in so incredibly that, like, Kirk Cobain's going to be jealous and <laughs> yeah. want your autograph. Exactly. Which is bizarre. It's very funny. Okay. And then he says, unfashionable and about as rational as the rash on a fag's asshole. Now let's take that line, run it up the flagpole with Elton, see if he's cool with it. Don't stand there and look stupid at me, bitch. I ain't in the mood for this shit. Okay. So he says unfashionable and about as irrational as a rash and a fag's asshole. So the way he says rash anal, it kind of sounds like rash anal. Okay. So that's why he's saying rash anal and then fag's asshole, right? So the implication is that a gay guy would have rash on his ass. Okay. So then he says he's unfashionable and about as irrational as a ration of fags asshole now let's take that line so this obviously offensive line yeah run it up the flagpole with elton so that's another expression common parlance like if you run it up the flagpole it's like, like to see if it's okay for him to say this yeah if you run something up the flagpole you're trying to get an gauge if it's okay if it's something good to do you know and what he's I mean? running up to elton john because he has like that the history with him yeah and he says see if he's cool with it and then he says, don't stand there and look stupid at me, bitch. I ain't in the mood for this shit. Get my dick. Google it till it pops up. Y'all are so motherfucking full of shit that you're stopped up. So he's he says, I'm not in the mood for this shit. Get my dick. Google it till it pops up. So it's a play on. Yeah. If you search something, it'll pop up on Google. So he's saying, get my dick and Google it till it pops up. So you give him an erection. Mm-hmm. And then he says, you're so motherfucking full of shit that you're stopped up. So. Like when you're stopped up, you're backed up, like constipated. Yes. So he says, you're so motherfucking full of shit. So full of shit and then stopped up. So literally, if you're constipated or stopped up, you're full of shit, right? Mm -hmm. And then he carries this on where he says, oh, so he does say shit back there too. I'm not in the mood for this shit. But then the scheme really picks up. You're so fucking full of shit that you're stopped up. Me, I'm always shitting diarrhea of the mouth till your speakers crap out. And then you hear a fart sound. And then he goes, huh, what? So he he has this scheme here of the you're so full of shit that you're stopped up, right? Uh-huh. And then he says, me, I'm always shitting diarrhea of the mouth till your speakers crap out. So and then he's just like spitting like. Crazy raps until your speakers give out, but then it's also another poop scheme. Yeah, he does a lot of poop schemes. Yeah, he does. It's very funny. And then, so there's all the the shit and stuff there, right? And he says shit in Tyrio's mouth, so he's just constantly like spitting, like rapping till your speakers crap out. So they'll break them, like you just explained. And then you hear the fart sound, so that that punctuates it's your speaker crap. Yes, out. and that punctuates the the fart shit scheme <laughs> and then he says huh what girl you got a hot butt like a lit cigarette chick cigarette so the hot butt like a lit cigarette so if you're smoking so cigarettes by themselves it can be referred to as butts at least for where from a full cigarette you're mm-hmm. like oh you got a butt but typically it is like the ass end of the yeah. cigarette the, the filter the partly like you throw out yeah and maybe there's a little bit so says you got a hot butt so he literally he likes the way your ass looks it looks good but like a lit cigarette so 
you know, that cigarette's literally a hot butt. And then it says chig chigarette. So he's just doing like the yeah, chicka like chicka. Yeah. yeah. The chicka chicka slim shady thing. And okay. And then he says, but you won't get a hot fudge Sunday from me. So do not strut my way slut because, and then it goes back into the chorus. And throwing the hot fudge in there kind of makes you think of the poop scheme. So it does. Now, <laughs> I will freely admit that there is one of those like sexual crazy acts that's known as a hot fudge Sunday that I did not know about until I heard this song. I think I saw it on Genius. I think they had the explanation of it. So, yes, technically the hot fudge Sunday does tie in to the, the poop scheme. Now, obviously, the, the face explanation is he's so stingy, again, that he won't even buy you a hot fudge Sunday, which is, what, at most a couple of dollars. Mm -hmm. Now, supposedly, a hot fudge Sunday, if you guys want to know, is after you get a blumpkin on the toilet, you give her a swirly in the toilet with the poop in it. And that's a hot fudge Sunday, apparently. So Ooh, enjoys these. I know. Things. I think half of them are just made up, like people. Like, someone's bad. Someone's done it. I guarantee you, <laughs> yeah. someone has done it. Probably people. People like that stuff. Yeah, and that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. It's fucking gross. Not for me, but it's mm -hmm. fine. Yes. Yeah. So he did all the butt poop fart shit. And then the hot fudge Sunday, which kind of goes in. And then he says, uh, so do not strut my waist slut because, all right, here we go. Let's finish this off. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a long video. <laughs> it's only a three minute song. All right, here we go. Here we go, go, go. Because oh, here we go, go, go. And now that I got your panties in a bunch and your bowels in an uproar. I'ma show you why I came, so you stop asking me what the fuck for Now look you little slut cunt whore, I know you want more Bitch, it's time to put the mad pack in the madness Cause I'm a fucking plug Run, boy, every flow got it masked It's to every last word that you fucking fags heard Come straight from the bitch's ass, yeah, in other words, I'm a bastard Looking at me like I kill Kenny Gas in the tank, yeah, still plenty No morals are instilled in me, so remorse, I really don't feel any Beat your heart out, Hannibal, understandable Why you jealous fucking animal, I got cannibal Magnetism, can't resist him, how can you, ho? Steady, I don't understand you Flow. Understand my flow, bitch, I flow like Troy Palomalo's hair, boy Don't you dare try to follow a compare, boy I'm raw, you ain't even medium rare Stay the fuck out of my hair, boy You can look, you can stand point But you can't touch, I'm too cool, boy I don't get it, man, it's hell void All this weak shit, what are my steroids? Well, bitch, I'm back with some shit for that ass In your trunk, elephant <laughs> And remember, boys Now here we go, go, go So, we will do this third verse. Okay. Verse three. He comes in and says, And now that I got your panties in a bunch and your bowels in an uproar, no. I'm going to show you why I came. So you stop asking me what the fuck for. Okay. So, panties in a bunch is another one of these like common parlance phrases you know what i mean people use these social idioms i guess they're called you know what i mean yeah just like sayings so yeah if you got your panties in a bunch you're upset Uptight, yeah bothered and he says in your bowels in an uproar so upset your stomach and it also goes with the poop yeah from the came other again. verse yeah and then he says i'm gonna show you why i came so you stop asking me what the fuck for do you get it yes that would have so it's like i'm gonna show you why i'm here so you stop asking me why are you here mm -hmm. or i'm gonna show you why i ejaculated so you stop asking me why did you have sex like, with me what the fuck for why yeah. you came why i came yeah so you explained it perfectly that's a that's one you could easily miss you know what i mean yeah i was like thinking about that but i didn't think about the what the fuck for yeah it's a cool one then he says, now look, you little slut cunt whore. I know you want more, bitch. It's time to put the math back into Mathers because I'm a fucking problem. Run, boy. So like a math problem. Yes. So, yeah, it's all self-explanatory. He's calling her a little slut cunt whore. I know you want more. 
but he's saying it's time to put the math. Mathers, his last name, obviously. I'm a fucking problem. Math problem. Run boy. Continues. Every flow got it mastered. So every last word that you fucking fags heard comes straight from the fish's ass. Yeah. In other words, I'm a bastard. That's a good one. That's <laughs> yeah. good. So, yeah, this is... And that's another saying. I mean, it's the horse's ass, right? He the horse's it. mouth. Uh, oh, but no, the, a, a horse's ass is another one. So that's a different one. You're right. <laughs> no, it is. comes straight from the horse's ass. <laughs> horse's ass. Straight from the horse's ass. But no, I know what yeah. you, you were mixing two in your mind, but you're right. <laughs> well, no, I just, I just knew the saying was about a horse. I just... Well, yeah. there is. So, yes. There's the saying that comes straight from the horse's mouth, obviously. And then there's calling someone horse's ass. Yes. So that's what you were thinking. Yeah. So, yes, he says every flow, he's got it mastered. So every last word comes straight from the fish's ass. You know, In bass, other words, a bass turd. Like bass doodle. Yes. And then like a fish in the bass. Obviously. And then you're a bastard, like someone who doesn't have a father. Yeah. Yes. All right. Then he says, looking at me like I killed Kenny. Gas in the tank, yeah, still plenty. No morals are instilled in me. So remorse, I really don't feel any. So, I mean, okay. you know this reference, the first one, right? Yeah, like killing Kenny in South Park. Yes. Like, for the first many seasons, he would die every episode. And they'd be like, oh my god, you killed Kenny. Yeah. Then they stopped killing him, and then they would just like, kill him on occasion. Yeah. It makes it more special. And yeah. Every now and then. Yes. So, yeah, he said, you're looking at him like you killed Kenny. He's like, oh, my God, you killed Kenny. Like that crazy shock that the kids had in the show. But then, like, no one cares, like, two minutes later. I know. Like, yeah, it's the funny part. You know, it happens every day. And then he says, gas in the tank, still plenty. So, yeah, he's still got the energy and the desire to fucking keep going, keep rapping. He says, no morals are instilled in me, so remorse, I don't feel any. So he has no remorse because he has no morals. And they weren't instilled in him, meaning like his parents didn't give them to him, you know. And then he says, eat your heart out, Hannibal. Understandable <laughs> why you're jealous. Fucking animal. I got cannibal magnetism. Can't resist him now, can you, ho? So eat your heart out, Hannibal. Hannibal was a cannibal. So eating your heart out would be something he would do. And it's also saying like, you're going to be jealous of me. Yeah, I remember Miss Piggy would always out. say that. Yeah, but eat your heart out, meaning like, go ahead, get jealous. And, yeah. You know, that's the another one of those sayings. That's yeah, fucking, Miss Piggy would say it all the time. That's funny. And then, yes, like you pointed out, Hannibal Lecter, he was a cannibal. Mm -hmm. And then he says, so eat your heart out, Hannibal. So he means it both ways. And then understandable why you're jealous. And then he says, fucking animal, I got cannibal magnetism. So the cannibal brings you back to Hannibal Lecter. Who mm -hmm. would was eat. a cannibal? Yes. So, and then he's, that's why he says, "Fucking animal!" I got cannibal magnetism. So, animal magnetism is the saying. You know, it's so somebody that's like really like, like, like sexually like desirable and like you know what I mean. He like brings that out in people. So he's saying, "Fuck animal magnetism!" I got cannibal magnetism. Can't resist him now, can you? Hope so. The magnetism you can't resist. You know, and then I guess they want to eat him. You know what I mean? Mm. Like sexually. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then can you hoe? And then he says, Shady, I don't know. Okay. I think he's saying, I think he's saying, I don't understand you, bro. Pop it in the earbud real quick. Let me know what you hear. This is another one where I think the lyrics are fucked up. On the first line, Shady, I don't understand. Tell me what you hear. Okay. Shady, I don't understand your flow. Then he's like, understand my flow. I'm hearing Shady, I don't understand you, bro. No. Try again. No. One more time. Some camera system now, can you hoe? Shady, I don't understand your flow. Understand my flow, bitch, I flow like Troy. I don't know. Because then he's saying. What genius say? I think they say flow too, but I don't think that's what's being said. I think genius is wrong. Because he's saying flow three times there. And there was obviously no lyrics in the CD booklet for this song oh, because true. it was unlisted. Right? I would imagine. 
If there even was a lyric booklet. Yeah. So, saying Shady, I don't understand your flow. Okay, either way. Either Eminem's quoting somebody saying, Shady, I don't understand your flow. Or what I feel like I'm hearing is, Shady, I don't understand you, bro. And then Eminem says, understand my flow. And then he says, bitch, I flow like Troy Palomalu's hair, boy. Don't you dare try and follow or compare, boy. I don't know who that is. So he's a football player on, let's see if there, I could get you a picture of him. There, there should be something on here. So he was a football player for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Same team as Ben Roethlisberger, actually, with the terrible towel reference that was on okay. this album. So he was like a Polynesian dude with these long flowing oh, he's like hair. Me. Yes. I'm a quarter Samoan. Like 30% actually. Say. Yeah. His hair is really curly. That's what we we all get. You know, like my hair is literally yes. ridiculously long. So yeah, he was actually in like hair commercials too, Troy Palomalu. Because I could see that. he's like known for his long flowing hair. Mm -hmm. So again, Shady, I don't understand you. Flow or bro, whatever. Then he says, understand my flow. Bitch, I flow like Troy Palomalu's hair boy. So, you know, they're very long, you know, desirable. And he says, don't you dare try to follow or compare, boy. So don't try to follow or compare your flow. And he says, I'm raw. You ain't even medium rare. Stay the fuck out of my hair, boy. You can look, you can stare and point, but you can't touch. I'm too clairvoyant. Okay. So I'm raw. You ain't even medium rare. So a meat reference. Yes. Yeah, so you could cook raw or medium rare. And he says, stay the fuck out of my hair, which is. Back to the hair. Exactly. Then he says, boy, you can look, you can stare and point, but you can't touch. I'm too clairvoyant. So being clairvoyant usually means that you can read other people's minds. Yeah. Or like seeing into the future. Fuck. I guess yeah. Yeah. So this actually, this is one of these lines I'm not 100% on. Because I know. So he's saying. Clairvoyance can represent. A few things. I think there are different types of being clairvoyant. It's someone who has supernatural ability to perceive events in the future beyond normal sensory contact. Okay. So, so th that's I guess what it you is. can't Those are touch me because I'll know if you're about to touch me and I'll move. So that's the way I always understood it. It says you can look, you can stare and point, but you can't touch. It's like you can't touch me. Like you can't even come close to how good I am because I can see everything that you're about to do before you even do it. So that's the way I – Like rap-wise? So I feel like that's the face value interpretation of the line. Do you know what I mean? Like you can look, you can stare, you can point, but you can't touch. And he says, I'm too clairvoyant. So because I'm clairvoyant, you can look and stare, but you won't be able to touch him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like he's like seeing – and then the way it described, it says extrasensory perception. So like looking and staring and pointing and touching, I mean, those are all kind of senses, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he says, I'm too clairvoyant, but I understand it the way you seem to, is that he can see it coming. He's, yeah. you know what I mean? He can see everything coming. You can, so you can't physically touch him or so, touch his wraps or like touch him in like the, you know, being number one, you can't compare. Exactly. So he's saying you would look and stare and point because he's this famous celebrity that's so good and amazing at rhyming. Yeah. So you can do all that, but you can't touch because he's too clairvoyant. Mm -hmm. Meaning you can't touch him and you can't literally physically touch him. And then he says, I don't get it, man. Is there a void? All this weak shit. What am I, steroids? Well, bitch, I'm back with some shit for that ass and your trunk. Elephant hemorrhoids. And remember, boys. Okay. So we, I don't get a man. Is there a void? You know, like, where is everybody? Everybody yeah, sucks. I'm so no much. One's doing any good raps now that he's been gone. Yes. So there's like really weak competition. Mm. And he says all this weak shit. What am I, steroids? So. So like, is he going to have to liven up the rap game? Yeah. He's saying everybody else is so weak and he's so much better than them that he looks like steroids compared to these people. You know what I mean? Like, And also he will be the steroids to revive the weak rap game. Yeah. I would interpret that. And then he says, well, bitch, I'm back with some shit for that ass and your trunk. Elephant hemorrhoids. Okay. So do you get this line? Bitch, I'm back with some shit for that ass and your trunk. So, like, 
uh, elephants have butts, but also your trunk. So that's for your butt, but also a trunk is like an elephant's nose. So if he's back for some shit, then the hemorrhoids caused when you have like trouble pooping. So those are like the references I pick up there. So there's a, there's a few ways to interpret. This is the last line of the song, actually. Well, of the verse, and then it just, the, you don't know me. So he says, I'm back with some shit for that ass. So if somebody's like, I got some shit for that ass, meaning like, I got something for you, you know, right? Yeah. So he says, but when he says, I'm back with some shit for that ass. So obviously the shit and ass, right? But he says, for that ass and your trunk. So I'm back with some shit for that ass and your trunk. Now, like your upper body. So typically, your speakers are in your trunk, right? So musically, back some shit for you and your trunk of your car. So he's here with something for you and for the trunk of your car, musically, right? I didn't think about that. People don't really do that anymore, right? No, I, I haven't. I had a system when it's I was. It's been a long time since I saw someone with one of those. Yeah, when I had my car, uh, my first car, I had like two, I think 12 inch subs. I don't remember. But anyway, so yeah, I'm back with some shit for that ass and your trunk. So so also the for that ass could be like dancing, you know what I mean? Like for that ass yeah. like and your trunk. So he's there for, you know, to make you dance and your car and then elephant hemorrhoids, which you pretty much explained already. So yes, elephants have trunks and then ass the hemorrhoids or elephant hemorrhoids and they think he's back with some shit for your ass yes. like it could be like hemorrhoid cream yeah like oh i got some stuff for your butt yes for your hemorrhoids yes and then he says and remember boys and then yeah, which rhymes with hemorrhoids yes and it says you don't own me now here we go 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 and okay. then hope you enjoyed the show till next time ha 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 peace <laughs> peace so that's the end of the standard version. There's only two other tracks on the deluxe version. So we will do them next, the next two days. Okay. And you were right. 42 minutes. Like, yeah. I, <laughs> I know. I, I know some people get very angry that we, I reread every line and we go through, but. but I mean, we're doing that because when you're trying to think of what something means, you kind of have to say it. Yeah. You can't like just reading it. And if we just read it and then said what it meant, you would be really confused as to what we were talking about if you didn't really know this song that well. Yeah. Plus, with the exception of the songs that have music videos, which we will go back and watch, but even on those, we're not going to be breaking down the lyrics. But with the exception of those songs, we're only doing each song once. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. like, I personally feel it's important that we. Well, so everything unless we, we can. do like a music video. That's what I'm but saying. But then that's just reacting to the video and not the song at all. Yeah. And if you have a problem with this, there are like a million other reaction channels who literally like don't break just down. listen to the song and never pause it and then just say like that was great and then they end the video. Yeah. And those may be more appropriate for you. Yeah. Or they yeah. or they pretend they pick like the biggest song in the world and pretend they never heard it. And be like, I've never heard this song before. And then like, oh my God. That's not us. Yeah. You'll see. I mean. No, I've known. I know like almost, I know like 75, 50 to 75% of the Eminem songs that we do. And I say that. Yeah. She's honest, you know. Yeah. But so okay. any of our first time hearings are like legitimate. Mm. No idea what's happening. We pause at absolutely horrible times. Yeah, I have no that. idea what to expect. <laughs> yeah. But at least, you know, it's legit. Yes. Okay. So what's your thought on Untitled? It's really, really good. I think it has the best rap scheme of all of the songs in the album, but it's not my favorite. No, I, I agree. So I really love this song. It, I even forget about it. I even underestimate it. Yeah, I've never heard it before, ever. Yeah. I just know the sample because it's been used in, um, oh God, it was used in a newer song by a girl. Can't remember who. Yeah. What? I don't know. Maybe it was like... I don't even know, but it was used by an, like a girl. <laughs> yeah. So I, that's all I recognize of the song, to be honest. Yes. So, yeah, I love this song. It's great. I think it it is the most... So he's having fun. He's fucking around. You know, some people get mad at him for some of the corny lines, but I don't even think they're corny. Do you know no, what I mean? Some of them are really good. He's not trying to be deep. He's just trying to have fun exactly. and, sh and show off and... 
show do what he enjoys doing like holy shit i'm gonna make this scheme fit here and i'm gonna deliver the lines this way you know what i mean like i appreciate it it, it is what it is you know what i mean exactly it's not trying to be something it's not it's not trying to give this message you know what i mean like yeah. sure some songs are for that this song isn't one of those this is just a showcase his skill and ability and have fun and it's exactly. fucking awesome yeah all right yeah. so that was really good yes um, and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow see you bye, bye.